It's 5.45 in the morning, and it's fast pass day for me. It's super early. I'm exhausted. Here's my list. Here's my Disney experience loading up. Here's my list again. I'm really, really anxious, but it could be that I'm just really, really tired. I don't know. Wish me luck. As you saw in my opening vlog, last week was Fast Pass Day for me, so yay! Um, so last week I kind of got inspired to do a little Fast Pass Tips and Tricks vlog. I think some of you um, that watch my channel uh, maybe know what Fast Pass is, uh, would maybe be interested in knowing my tips and tricks on how to get the best Fast Passes, or maybe you don't know anything about Fast Pass at all, so that's why I was a little inspired um, to do this. So. I got my coffee. I'm wearing one of my favorite shirts. You can't see it, but it says Making Magic Happen, which is my kind of one of my favorite Disney shirts. I got it on Amazon. The dog is running around here somewhere, so she may make an appearance in my vlog. So if some of you come here just to see Sydney, don't worry. She's probably going to make an appearance, maybe. So come along in this adventure with me, and thanks for watching. So first and foremost, what I'm going to do is just kind of give you a general overview of what FastPass is. I know a lot of you kind of maybe have heard of FastPass, but maybe don't know what the general specifics are. So I have some notes, so if I look down, that's what I'm doing. So what is FastPass? FastPass is a system that Disney has to pre-book some of the most popular attractions um, on property. Uh, but you are only able to book three or pre-book, excuse me, three Fast Pass tickets per day. So it's basically an electronic reservation system for some of the most popular rides. It uses the My Disney Experience app, which I'll show you right here. And I think I have talked about My Disney Experience app in previous vlogs. So it uses the My Disney Experience app to um, navigate through this system and to book this system. Um, Fast Pass is available in all four parks. Um, and like I said, it uses the app. You can use the app on your Android phone or your iPhone. So it is compatible with all, both of those um, smartphones. On-site guests can pre-book 60 days out from their arrival date. And off-site guests can pre-book 30 days out from their arrival date. For example, my arrival date, because I am an on-site guest, is October 20th. My fast pass day was August 21st, last Wednesday, which is 60 days out. That morning, right at 6 a.m., Fast Pass window opens up at 7 a.m. Eastern time, Eastern time, but because I'm Central Time, it would be 6 a.m., and it's very important that you get on the app or get on a computer right at 7 a.m., 6 a.m., or whatever time it opens up, because some of those really popular attractions go very fast. So right at 6 a.m., I got on my computer and I pre-booked my Fast Passes for my entire trip. So I was able on August 21st to book all my Fast Passes for October 20th through October 25th. It took me about 15 minutes, okay? So technically that's 60 days out plus five days because I was able to book through the 25th. Another thing that Disney um, utilizes is a tiered system. So the tiered system is utilized in Animal Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, and Epcot. There is not a tiered system at the Magic Kingdom. Not sure why, it, it, there's just not. Maybe because Magic Kingdom has a lot of attractions. I don't know, I don't know why they don't. But Animal Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, Epcot. So I'm gonna do a separate vlog on the tiered system, um, what rides are in what tier, and what rides are worth getting a fast pass for versus not. Um, but in the meantime, I will link down below the website that I use for um, the tiered system. So feel free to utilize that down below. Um, so how that works is like tier one. So you have three pre-booked fast passes. You're only allowed to choose one fast pass from tier one. And then the other two fast passes you have to choose from tier two. After So that day, after you use all three of your fast passes, then you can go back and get a fourth fast pass. I'll go into details on this a, more a little later. 
Now on to the tips and tricks. So that was just kind of a general overview of fast pass. I know it was kind of fast and dirty and stuff like that, but now on to the tips and tricks. So number one, book the hardest to get fast passes first, not necessarily backwards. I do um, recognize that some blogs say to go backwards and then move forwards, and I'll kind of explain a little bit why I think they say that. But my tip and trick is to book the hardest to book fast passes first. So right now on Disney property, the most popular attractions and the hardest to book fast passes are Slinky Dog Dash, which is in Hollywood Studios, and Flight of Passage, which is in Animal Kingdom. So on my fast pass day last Wednesday, I booked those two fast passes first, and then I went back and I did everything else. Um, so here is a little tip, and this is why I think other vlogs say to go backwards and work forwards. It actually is beneficial when you're planning which day you're gonna go to which park. It's more beneficial to put Hollywood Studios, that has Slinky Dog Dash, and Animal Kingdom, that has Flight of Passage, at the end of your trip. The reason for that is, is remember when I told you that I was able to book 60 days out plus five days? on my fast pass opening day well here's newsflash so is everybody else so what that means is because of that it means that the fast pass selection at the beginning of your trip is a lot more limited because people who are arriving before you had a chance at those fast passes because they also are able to book 60 plus 5 or 60 plus 7 or whatever you know however long their 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 vacation is so at the beginning of your trip, your fast pass selections are more limited versus at the end of your trip, you have a better selection. So for those really, really hard to get fast passes, Slinky Dog Dash, Flight, Flight of Passage, you, you may be more beneficial for you to put them at the end of your trip so you have more options. Now we are going to Animal Kingdom on the first day. It just didn't work out this trip to, to put that at the end. So because of that, I had very, very limited Flight of Passage options. It worked out for the best. but. In a perfect world, I would have put Hollywood Studios and Animal Kingdom at the very end, so that way I would have had more options. Um, tip and trick number two is pound the app. So what that means when I say pound the app is the app is your friend. Utilize it. Refresh, refresh, refresh. Tap and modify. Pound the app. Have it in there. Know how to navigate through that app. Um, so... Tap and modify. What that means is um, a lot of times if you are able to grab a fast pass, but let's say it's not exactly for the time that you like, you can tap on it, hit the modify button, and you can keep refreshing. And I'll kind of show you right here what I mean by refreshing. A lot of times it, the most coveted time or the time that you want will pop up. Um, the fast pass that you want will pop up. You just need to devote some time to it and pound that app. You may have to sit there for 20 minutes and refresh, 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 but sometimes stuff will pop up and you need to just grab it. So that's what I mean by pound the app. Um, also, pre-book your fast passes, your three fast passes as early in the day as possible because as soon as you use that third fast pass, then you can start looking for a fourth, fourth fast pass. For example, um, when you tap in, so say your third fast pass is Space Mountain, and you're wait, you tap in and you use your fast pass for Space Mountain. When you're waiting in line for Space Mountain, get on that app, pound the app, and start looking for that fourth fast pass. So refresh, refresh, refresh. Um, another tip is always carry around an external battery charger when you're in the parks because if you pound the app, it will drain your battery. I got this on Amazon. I'll link it down the below. But it's always smart to have an external battery charger because pounding the app will drain your battery on your phone. Tip number three, and it again is in relation to the app, is choose specific times versus morning, afternoon, evening. On the app, they have morning, afternoon, evening, as far as your choices, but then they also have specific times. If you choose morning, sometimes the time that you want will come up, but a lot of times I've chosen morning and nothing's come up, but then if I choose 9 a.m., all of a sudden something will come up for what I want. So a little trick is try to choose the specific times. You'd be surprised that all of a sudden these coveted fast pass times that you want will come up versus just choosing the generic morning, afternoon, evening. Um, another tip with the times, which I kind of explained a little earlier, but I'll explain in more um, detail. And I'm, it's easier for me to explain with an example. Say you have a fast pass for Space Mountain at 4 p.m. That's not really super ideal. Remember what I said before that you want to try to do all three of your fast passes earlier in the day? Because the earlier you can you know, use those fast passes, the earlier you can start searching for a fourth fast pass. So Space Mountain at 4 p.m., if that's your third one, that's not really ideal because it's kind of later in the day. So say you want to try to modify it, you want to get on the My Disney Experience app, hit that modify button and try to find it for 10 a.m. 
but you just aren't finding anything. You keep refreshing, refreshing, refreshing. You just are not finding anything. Try going into a completely different fast pass that you've booked to see if they suggest Space Mountain for the time that you want. That has happened to me multiple times. So let's say this example, you want Space Mountain for 10 a.m. You want to move it from 4 p.m. to 10 a.m. You're just not finding anything. But say you have Winnie the Pooh already booked at 10 a.m. I'd go into Winnie the Pooh, hit the modify button, then scroll down and see sometimes Space Mountain will come up as a suggestion for 10 a.m. I don't know why the app does this, but this has happened to me. I mean, not often, but it's happened to me a couple times before. So that's a little trick to kind of trick the system into getting a coveted fast pass time that you want. Number four um, tip and trick is uh, if you have a park hopper pass, and I've said before kind of my opinion on park hopper, so everybody's a little bit different whether they have a park hopper or not, but park hopper pass, um, book your pre-book your three fast passes at one park, and then as soon as you tap into that third fast pass and when you're waiting in line, look on that, pound that app for your fourth fast pass in a different park because you have the park hopper pass, and so you're able to utilize and go around. So using the My Disney Experience app with your park hopper pass is a tip and trick. And my fifth tip and trick, and again, I've said this before, My Disney Experience app is your friend. Get used to it. Get used to navigating it. Get used to navigating it in the parks, in the line. Pound that app, refresh, 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 tap and modify. Another little trick in utilizing the My Disney Experience app is let's say you have your three um, pre-booked fast passes and I said you wanna to try to book them earlier in the morning. Let's say you couldn't do that. Let's say they're spread out through the whole entire day and you don't really like that. What you can do is you tap into that first fast pass. You're waiting in line for that first fast pass and let's say your second fast pass is like two hours away and you're just like, oh, I really wish I could move that second fast pass up earlier. Well, when you're waiting in line for that first fast pass, get on your phone, tap on that second fast pass, hit that modify button, refresh, refresh, refresh. See if you can move it up, move it up, move it up. Same thing. If you're waiting in line for your second fast pass and you want to try to get your third fast pass earlier in the day while you're waiting, get on that My Disney Experience app, hit on that third fast pass, tap modify, Refresh, refresh, refresh. A lot of times on the same day, people cancel their fast passes a lot and you can snag coveted times that you want, you just have to put in the time. If you're waiting in line a little bit anyways, because usually the fast passes, you always have a little bit of a wait, like 15, 10, 15 minutes. Utilize that time to look on the My Disney Experience app, hit refresh, and see if you can modify for a better time for yourself. So there you go. Those are my tips and tricks for FastPass. Um, FastPass is a great system. It, it can be a little frustrating. Honestly, I actually like... Um, not really the paper system, but I like the old system better. I wish they would go back to the old system, but do it electronically. Um, and maybe someday I'll do a vlog as far as what the old system was and stuff like that. But all in all, it is a good system. It can be very confusing sometimes for new people. You just have to be able to put in the time and the research to understand it, learn it. And once you do and you get used to navigating the system, that is actually a very helpful system, and it's a really great way for you to do a lot, a lot of rides in a short amount of time. So I hope that you liked this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Um, don't forget to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button down below, and thank you for supporting our channel. Uh, I have a lot of content planned, especially Disney content. We are getting very close to our October trip, so I have a lot of like Disney planning vlogs and things like that planned for the future. So if you want to get notified of my vlogs that come out, don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can get notified. So thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. And as I say at the end of every video, I will see you real soon.